Hello friends, welcome to the world of maths by MEA. Let's discuss speed division by 99, 98, 97, 96 and so on. Means divisor near to 100. Believe me, this is not a trick, but an observation and the concept of the division method. What we are doing is nothing but a fast calculation or the last step of the division. First of all, we have to check how many digits in the number or the numerator have we have only two digit it has only two digits so the we are looking for the third digit same number of digit in divisor and numerator then look for the another digit what is the next digit is nothing but zero so we can say 27 upon 99 or 98 or 97 is nothing but 0 27 upon 99 we want one more digit double digit we want one more digit i hope this one is clear then what would happen the first digit the extra digit is the integral value the extra digit is nothing but integral value we are working on near to 100 so we work on a two digit if we work near to 10 we have to work on a single digit okay so we have to work on two digits i hope this one is clear because we are working on a base 100 what is the gap between 100 and 99 gap is nothing but one so just multiply one from this step to this step this step to this step 98 just multiply 2 with the gap of 2 gap is 3 so multiply by 3 gap is 4 so multiply 4 in the intermediate places i hope this one is clear we are working on 100 that's why double digit if we work on 1000 we can work on a triple digit now we have 27 first digit is 0 so write 27 the effect would be changed if we have some first digit 27 into 1 is nothing but 27 nothing but 27 and so on but this concept only works when numerator is not the factor of denominator like it should not be 49 upon 98 it is a factor so our answer is nothing but for the first three digit or anything is a 0 0.2727 and so on what about this we have 0 so write 27 as it is double is 54 double is 10808 08, and 1 is the carry so this becomes 0.2755 and so on just take the first four or three digits why i'm not taking the next digits because the next change would affect the number i'm just taking the first three or four digits again 27 divided by 97 gap is of 3 27 3 is nothing but 81 81 3 is nothing but 243 so 43 and 2 and 2 is the carry that is nothing but 278 that is 213 and so on just work on the first three or first four digit 27 divided by 97 is nothing but 0 0.2783 i hope this one is clear what about 27 upon 96 that is 27 4 ja. 27 4 ja is nothing but 108 that is 108 108 4 ja is 432 that is 1084432 so if we add that is nothing but 0 0.217 is 8 84 is nothing but 12 and 1 is the carry and 3 2 and so on just take first 3 or 4 digit so this is 27 upon 96 is nothing but 0 0.2812 and so on i am not working on the other digits because we have to again multiply by 4 and that would change the effect of rest values i hope this one is clear so for a better practice let's solve four more questions now you have four questions i would suggest pause the video and solve the question i hope you have solved the question let's check we have double digit so we are looking for third digit that is nothing but zero so that is zero point same one three and the gap is one between 99 and 100 so multiply by one is 13 again multiply by one is 13 and so on so our answer is 0 0.1313 and so on that is the first four digits of 13 upon 99 we know it is nothing but 0.13 reacting now solve we have double digit we are looking for the third digit that is nothing but 0 0.13 gap between 100 and 98 is 2 so multiply by 2 is nothing but 26 again multiply by 2 is nothing but 52 and so on so the first four digit of this is 1326 and so on i hope this one is clear again looking for the third digit is 0. 1 3 gap between 100 and 97 is nothing but 3 so multiply by 3 is 39 multiply by 3 and 39 is nothing but 117 right 117 so we can say that is nothing but 0 0.1339 plus 1 is 40 and so on now work on this we have 96 and looking for the extra digit that is nothing but 0 0.13 and this one gap of 4 so multiply by 4 if we multiply by 4 that is nothing but 52 again multiply by 4 that is nothing but 
208. 52 into 4 is 208. So our first four digit is 0.1352 plus 2 is 54 and so on. I hope this one is clear. We just need to work on an extra digit. Write the numbers and continue. Now check. Now the thing is, what happens when we have extra digit here? Now check if we have some extra digit. We work like point double decimal, double decimal, double decimal. Rule would be the same for all. Point double decimal, double decimal, decimal, double decimal. If we have extra digit, we working on a double digit and double digit. Extra digit is one, so we have to write one. Here extra digit is one, so write one. Here the extra digit that is after double digit is two, is write two. Before fifty one we have three, so write three. So these are the integer values, and we need to find the decimal values for each cases. Now we have hundred gap is one, so we just want this value. If your gap is one, so multiply gap into extra value plus add the double digit number. What I am saying, the gap is one. Multiply gap with the extra digit and add into one. One into one. One into one is one plus twenty eight is twenty nine, and gap is one. So multiply by one, multiply by one, and that becomes one point two nine two nine and so on. I am again repeating. Check this. The gap between hundred and ninety eight is two. Multiply two with the extra digit that is two plus add in the last two digits that is thirty seven plus two is nothing but thirty nine, and gap is two. So multiply by two. 39 into 2 is 78, and 78 into 2 is 156. So 56 and 1, that is 1.3979, and so on. Now check here the gap is 3 with 100. 3 into 2 is 6. 6 plus 49 is 55, and gap is 3. So multiply by 55, that is nothing but 165, and 165 multiply by 3 because gap is 3. It is nothing but 495. So our first four digit after decimal is nothing but two point five one six, and sixty five plus four is nothing but sixty nine. And this is our first four digit after decimal if two forty nine divided by ninety seven. I am again saying these are not the tricks. These are the mathematical concept and the application of maths, but the fastest way possible. And might be possible that our four digit would have some different values because the effect of the previous would change. So I would say just go for the first three digits. Because if you check by the calculator, two forty nine upon ninety seven is nothing but two point five six seven zero. That is sixty nine and seven zero is almost same. So this is the approx value because we are missing some digit. The effect of this digit would affect and change the value. I hope this one is clear. Again, the gap is four. So gap is four with the extra digit is twelve. Twelve plus fifty one is nothing but sixty three. And gap is four. So multiply by four. If this one is multiply by four, is nothing but two fifty two. And again, two fifty two multiplied by four is nothing but one zero zero eight, and so on. So this becomes three point sixty two is sixty five, and fifty ten is sixty two, and so on. So the first two or three digit of three fifty one divided by ninety six is nothing but three point six five. Again, if we work on a few extra digit, that would change the effect. If the value is either bigger or the gap is bigger. The last third digit could be different, but this is the best approximation I have ever found. I hope this one is clear. For better practice, let's solve four questions again. Okay, there are four questions in front of you. I would suggest pause the video and solve the questions till three digits of the decimal. Now start. I hope you have solved the question. The extra digit is two. That is two point something. The gap is one. One into two is two plus forty one is nothing but forty three, and gap is one. So we have to multiply by one. That is forty three, and again by one. That is nothing but forty three. So the first three decimal is nothing but four three four. I hope this one is clear. Or this is a complete reoccurring case, so we can directly solve. But for the reference, I am using this. What about the gap? Gap is two. The first digit, that is extra digit, is three. Two three just six and. Thirteen is nineteen. The extra is three. Three point nineteen, and gap is two. So we have to multiply by two. Nineteen two ja thirty eight, and again multiply by two. Thirty eight two ja seventy six. So we have nothing but three point one nine three is the first three digits of three one three divided by ninety eight. I hope this one is clear. Check. We have five and four. Extra is four. So four is the integer value. Gap is three. Three two ja twelve plus five is nothing but seventeen, and gap is of three. So multiply by three. That is nothing but fifty-one. 
फिफ्टी वन थ्री जा इज नथिंग बट वन फिफ्टी थ्री सो आर फर्स्ट थ्री डिजिट इज नथिंग बट फोर पॉइंट वन सेवन फाइव और सेकेंड डिजिट इज टू इफ वी कंसिडर प्रिसाइजली दैट इज फोर जीरो फाइव डिवाइड बाई नाइन्टी सेवन इज नथिंग बट फोर पॉइंट वन सेवन फाइव आई होप दिस वन इज क्लियर नो सॉल्व अगेन द गैप इज नथिंग बट टू दैट इज सेवेंटीन एक्स्ट्रा इज फोर दैट इज एक्स्ट्रा इज फोर फोर टू जा एट प्लस सेवेंटीन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड गैप इज टू सो जस्ट डबल दैट इज फिफ्टी फिफ्टी जस्ट डबल बिकॉज गैप इज टू दैट इज हंड्रेड सो दिस बिकम्स फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव फाइव वन अप टिल थ्री डिजिट फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव फाइव सो दिस इज आर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टूडे आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग दिस इज नॉट अ ट्रिक दिस इज अ जस्ट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द लास्ट स्टेप ऑफ अ सिंपल डिविजन मेथड आई थिंक दिस इज ओके विथ यू बट स्टिल यू फाइंड यू आर मिसिंग समथिंग फील फ्री टू पिंग मी इधर ऑन दिस वीडियो थ्रेड और ऑन फेसबुक ओके थैंक यू एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग